Namaste. Thank you. Welcome to Think Fitness. My name is uh, Yogi Asokananda. We are here to practice. Now, we will practice level one or beginner's yoga class. And please uh, consult your GP before you take a participate in class. And uh, make sure your area around you is tidy, mat is uh, clean, and you wear flexible clothes so you don't strangle yourself. And uh, remain yourself like four hours before three, four hours not to eat, like a full stomach should be a bit empty. And if you had a water half an hour ago, tea or coffee, one hour essential. So I welcome you, please join me. Thank you. So first we practice warm ups. You make sure you're standing flat, your both feet equally, couple of inches apart, relax your shoulders. You ground yourself first really well. Close your eyes. And say yourself a few times that you are very steady and still. So you relax your muscles. Imagine you're sleeping in a standing posture. You're relaxing your shoulders, your belly, relax your bottoms, keep your knees soft, your jaws relax, face muscles relax, your throat muscles relax, lose your shoulders. Just relax. One more minute to go, just relax yourself. Keep breathing. Keep your mouth closed. In yoga, we breathe through our nose, in and out, unless you've been advised so. If I say to breathe out your mouth, we breathe out. In relaxing posture, keep breathing through your nose. And imagine you are an alive statue. Be very steady. Give instructions to your mind and to your body. Stay still as possible. And breathing in, raising both hands sideways, up and above your head, very smoothly. Interlock your fingers, palm inside out, then breathe in, retain your breath in, heels up the ground, stretch yourself up on your tiptoes. So you try to grow tall as possible. Breathing out. Heels down, hands down, relax your shoulders, then breathing in, we practice five times, I will show the side stretch as well as we go, when we go sideways, breathing in, raising both hands up, sideways, heels off the ground, palm inside out, try to keep your back straight, we have to watch out in this posture that you do not arch your back, try to keep your back open, stretching your back up, Breathing out, heels down, taking both hands down. Keep your jaws soft, breathing in, taking both hands up, above your head, interlock your fingers, heels off the ground. Breathing out, heels down, taking both hands down. Breathing in. Take your both hands up. It's second last time. Raising your both hands up. Stretch yourself up. Heels up the ground. Breathing out. Heels down. Both hands down. And last time. Imagine you're taking the energy from earth to top up your head. 
palm inside out. As you're breathing out, take your heels down. Imagine you pushing the force from center of your palm to the ground. Take your hands down, relax. Now, take both hands on the west. Then take right leg forward. Then rotate your ankle. Try to keep your thigh muscles and calf muscles straight. Stretching your legs away from the west forward. Same time, you're stretching your energy up as well. So you're finding a firmly balance on the left foot. So you rotate your right ankle. Five times. Then five times reverse. This posture develops the strength to the balance mentally as well as physically and also warms up your ankles as well as your legs muscles and hip joint. Then relax. Adjust your feet. Find a balance on the right foot firmly. Then stretch your left leg front. Then rotate your ankle. Five times. Then we do it reverse. Relax. Relax the posture. Now open both legs. Approximate one half to two feet apart. Keep your spine active. Take right palm along with the right thigh, raise your left arm up. Take the left arm, stretch the left arm up, then take left palm over the left ear. Lateral stretch to right side. It's enough, face muscles soft. Keep your ears relaxed. If possible, try to keep front part of the teeth together, your jaws relax. That allows your breath to flow very smoothly. Breath normal while you hold the posture. In this posture, try to stretch your leg downward from the west and torso upward from the west throughout the fingertips. So you have a nice stretch sideways. Breathing in, come up, stretch your left arm up, take left palm down, close your left thigh. Then raise your right arm up sideways. Stretch yourself, right leg downward from the west. Right hip case upward. Take right arm over the right ear to left side. Face muscles soft, forehead soft. Experience your breath and your posture. If you wish, you can even close your eyes. While for a moment or two moment, if you want to adjust deep, or if you want to experience deep stretch, you can close your eyes. If not, you can keep your eyes open. As you're breathing in, come up, stretch your right arm up, then take right hand down. Practice at least three times. Right arm up, right arm down, stretch your left arm to right side, breath normal. Breathing in, come up, breathing out, hands down, then right arm up to left side. Breath normal, breathing in, come up, breathing out, hands down. Last round, left arm up, left arm, left over the left ear to right side, fingertips active. Then breathing in, we come up, left palm down, breathing in, stretching right arm up, take right palm over the right ear to left side. Remember your breath, breathing in, we come up, both hands down. Now, keep your pelvis firm. Now, we have to stretch ourselves lateral, sideways, or we have to open our chest as well. So, take your both hands, front of your chest. So, your palm facing opposite direction. The distance between both feet approximate two and a half feet. Keep your chin down. The breathing in, raise your both hands up. Take a face muscle to ceiling if you're okay with your neck, otherwise, you keep looking front. Breathing out, 
Take both hands, keep your arms straight, no strain on shoulders, chin lock, both hands front. So we make 10 times this practice. Breathing in, hands up, breathing out. Very gentle arch back. Breathing in, hands up. Keep your arms straight. So you're mobilizing your shoulders, shoulder blades, opening your upper back. But please do not strain your neck muscles. Breathing in, when we arch back, remember your breath, breathing out, please do not curve your back, keep your back straight, only take your chin down, breathing in, take your hands up, and behind your back, and chin lock, both hands front of your chest. Five more to go. That releases the tense from the neck muscles and also anxiety. This practice is a uh, warms up your solar blades, your shoulders, your neck muscles, and your chest, your back. Three more to go. Breathing in. Two more to go. And last time, relax. Take your hands up sideways. Stretch yourself up and both hands down. Take your both hands behind your back. Roll your shoulders back, chest out. Now, you have to watch out, your pelvis do not go forward or backward. And also, the level of the feet is actually parallel to each other in one line. So, not one foot backward or forward, you have to find the balance equally. Both hands behind the back, breathing in, chest out, very gently, breathing out to make a forward bend. You stretch yourself forward, take both hands back of your head, but do not stretch your shoulders, take your head down, both hands back of your head. Now, if you find it difficult keeping both arms back of your head, then you can rest your both arms on the lower back. Relax your shoulders. Bend your both legs. You square yourself on knees. And breathe in very gently, you come up, relax your shoulders, both hands down. So now our body is really warm, all we have to do now to clear our lungs. So keep your feet, same distance, take your hands up, very deeply, stretch yourself up, then very gently arch back from your upper back, then breath in through your nose, Hold your breath inside for a moment, then squat your legs from knees, breathe out. <sighs> Take your arms, back of your head. I will show you the side stretch as well. Then breathing in, very smoothly, come up. Stretch your hands up. Then breathing out. <sighs> so you stretch your arms away from the shoulders inward. Then breathing in, roll your back. Stretch yourself up. Very gently arch back, breathing out, <laughs> roll your back, breathing in through your nose, stretch yourself up, lengthening your spine up, very gently arch back, retain your breath for a moment. When you breathe out, forcefully exhalation through your belly, out through your mouth. <laughs> so you have make sound as well, so to accelerate your system. So create heat as possible in your body. Breathing in, raise your hands up, arching back very gently. Breathing out through your mouth. <sighs> Roll your back. So you perform like a line pose through your throat muscles. So you're stretching yourself up. So you're making grunting sound as well through your throat muscles. Breathing out. <sighs> Rolling your back. 
that develops the confidence inside you. Stretch yourself up, arching back. Breathing out. <laughs> so using your solar plexus, solar plexus represent the confidence. Stretch yourself up. Three more to go. Breathe out your mouth. <laughs> Roll your back. Second last time. <laughs> Stretch yourself up. <laughs> Relax your shoulders. Now stretch your spine forward, so your legs are straight, you're stretching your spine away from the waist forward, lengthening your spine forward, relax your arms down, you're stretching away from the throat, looking front, hands down. Now what you do, you open your chest, breathing in, open your chest, breathing out, give a hug yourself, take your arms all around you, breathe in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. Breathing out. You change your arm position. First, left arm front. Then second time, right arm front. Breathe in. You open your chest. Breathe out. Give a hug yourself. I will show the front position. Continue practicing, please. Breathing in. Breathe out. So you spread your arms all around you. Please be careful with the shoulder blade. Do not strain yourself. Remember your breath. Then relax yourself. Bend your legs, come out. Now body is warm, muscles really warm, deep tissue is also warm, joints open. Now we go a bit more deeper in our practice. So. You stand still. Now we practice Virasan or Virvadrasan, like warrior pose. You take your right leg back, opening both thighs. It possible to have several variations, so we practice two variations today. Keep both hands in the west, then take both hands up and above your head, bend the front leg. So in this posture, your force from your west goes three different directions. Forward, backward, by using your back thigh muscles and calf muscles, try to keep your back leg straight from the knee. Op opening both thighs, this thigh going forward, this is going backward, Keeping your waist forward, then stretching your hands up. Third force goes from the waist upward throughout your ribcage, through your armpit, through your fingertips. And breathing out, both hands sideways. Stretch your both arms away from each other. Keep your palms facing to ceiling. In line with the shoulder, then lift your back heel off the ground. And take your hands up, both hands down. Open your both thighs. Now be practicing Asusan Chalan. Then take your heel, back heel sideways, back toes inside. Now we go into the Trikonasan, triangular posture. Now you keep your fingertips behind the foot or over your knee or inside, whatever suits you. Use your this hand to use your pelvis. So you allow your pelvis to open, keep your back heel from your waist, pushing down into the ground, chest open, roll your upper ribcage backward, lower ribcage forward, then you stretch your right arm up in the air. Then hand down, take both hands down, back heel off the ground, open both thighs. Now, now we move into the down facing dog. You spread your fingers away from each other really well. Take your both legs back, both feet six to nine inches apart. Take your heels down, dog posture. Now force come from mount the palm, goes through your arms, through your back to your tailbone, then pass it down through your hamstring, Back to the ground. Coming out, up to your back, shooting your tailbone up, then going th down through your hamstring to the ground. Keep your legs straight. If you find difficult, 
you can keep your knees a little bit off heels of the ground, but you aim to keep your legs straight. Then slowly, slowly, either you walk your both feet forward, one foot at a time, or you bend your both legs from knees, without making any noise. Your feet does not make any noise. You lift your whole body. If you have strength in arms, bend your knees on your hands. Then bring your feet forward. Then roll your back and you come up. Relax your shoulders. Now we practice with the reverse leg. First we took our right leg back. This time we take our left leg back. So both legs apart. Both hands to the west. Keep your back heel active. So you stretch the back leg from pelvis. Open both thighs. Both hands on the waist. Stretch your arms up sideways. So your arms, your armpits, your ribcage to your waist in one line. Cheekbones relaxed, face muscles soft. Remember your breath. Please, while we hold the posture, we do not hold our breath. Breath remains normal. Your jaws open, teeth together. Front part of your teeth. Then, both hands sideways. Stretch both arms away from each other. Then lift your back heel off the ground. So you open your both thighs. You go down. Your both arms actively stretching away from each other. Gently chin up. So breath relax, belly relax, your breath normal. Experience how you feel. Then hands up above your head, then go forward. Hands down, take your heel down sideways. Your right palm either outside or inside. Now this time you will get to see the waist position because I'm practicing from other side. Then you can keep this leg half bent, either behind or on your knee. Twist it back, stretch this arm out. Your aim to keeping lower arm and upper arm in one line. Allow your back to open to your shoulder blades. Turn your head, look up. Your aim to holding the posture from your back heel, constantly stretching into the ground from your hip joint. Force goes down through your hamstring, through your back heel. That supports your waist. Then both hands down. Lift the back heel off the ground. Now watch out your front knee in line with the toes. Spread your fingers away from each other well. Let's take both legs back. Dog posture. Now, either you walk your both foot forward one foot at a time, or bend your both, uh, bend your both legs. Body weight goes on your hands as you go into palm balance. Both feet forward, and very gently roll your back. Come up. Now, it is just like you have worked out one round of sun salutation, but very deep stretch. It's between combination of the warrior posture, dog posture, triangular, and other postures as well in there. It's a very good warm-up. You can practice two times if you have time. But if you don't, the one round is very nice. One round is sufficient. Now we go for balancing posture. Now, balancing posture, if you have a lack of balance, you either go against the pillar, or you can have some support with your hand. If not, you can try in the center. In this posture, especially in balancing posture, you gaze your eyes, one point, right front of you. Focus really well. Then, find the balance, right leg front, 
bend your right leg. Take sole of foot either to your knee or into your thigh muscles. Now in this posture, point to watch out. Your waist remain front, this knee. Try not to take it forward. Try to take it sideways. That supports your posture really well. So you're opening your chest. That opens your chest as well. Then lengthening your arms sideways. You can hold it like this or up very gently. And above your head, you can keep your palms open. But gaze your eyes one point really well. And remember your breath. Keep your belly relaxed. Join the palms together. Or front of your chest. Or you can move the energy. Allow yourself to open. Taking your hands up. Breathing out, taking your hands down. Then breathing in, you practice three times. Breathing out. Then you relax. Now what you do after that, because you have worked on one foot, now you go on your toes. So release the tense from ankle on your heel. Take both hands to the west on your toes on your heels, on your toes. Even you get uh, in your daily life, if you're standing too long, you can just go on your toes, on your heels. That will release the tense from your calf muscles and your ankles. It also warms up the sole of your foot. The sole of your foot represent, in Chinese medicine system, it represents your entire nervous system, your whole back, it represents your whole body. So you find your balance on your right foot. And take your left sole of foot, either on your calf muscle, or if you find it even difficult, you take it to the sideways, like this, or into your knee. But don't press it against your knee. It's either down or up. Pelvis front. It opens your chest, it opens your belly. Take it in sideways, then take your both hands. Sideways. Gaze your eyes one point. Take your hands up. As we did before, breathing out. Then breathing in. You take your awareness between your both palms. But keep your eyes one point. Gazed. Breathing in. Breathing out. Relax. Then relax. Now find a balance from both foot. Then you go on the toes. Then on the knees. On the toes. On your heels. On your toes. On your heels. Keep your knees soft. On your toes. Then on your heels. Now what happens if you see the sideways if I moved? Now, when we practice this one, try to make it 10 times, but try not to use your waist. Try to keep your waist completely still throughout your calf muscle, through the torso. Only moving your foot to your ankles. So there's no movement in your waist. You aim to give massage to the sole of your foot. To release the tense. That's why you keep your hands in the waist. If your hands moving, that means you're using a waist. Try not to use your hip joint or your pelvis. Couple of more times to go. Three. Two. One. Then relax your shoulders. Now, you can make one round of sun salutation if you wish so. So very simple version, I will show you. Both hands front of the chest. You relax yourself, centralize yourself, body weight equal on both foot. Your feet can be together like this or a couple of inches apart. It depends on your hip size or your hip joint. 
And also, in this practice, don't go completely end of the mat or not either in the center. So you go a couple of six inches off your mat. If you place your chin, it does not go on the floor. So you have your chin on your mat. Sometimes if you have a carpet or other things, it might be dusty. So you minimi minimize to inhale, like not to inhale the dust. So you're making more precaution to wash to your health. Hands front of the chest. Jaw soft, experience your breath, breathing hands up, very gently, knees soft because that will support your back, very gently chest out, head up, then legs straight, knees straight, go forward, both hands, both sides of your feet, head to your knees, try to keep your legs straight, the force in this posture goes from a heel through your hamstring to your up, upward. Then goes forward through your spine. Use your hands to support your upper back. Bend your both legs. Breathe in. Right leg back. Then take right knee down. Fingertips in, chest up. Watch out your front knee in line with the toes. In one line. Push your palms in. Spread your fingers really well, like this. So you push your palms firmly into the ground, just like a paw of the cat or the dog. Then take both legs back. Both feet six inches apart. Dog pose. Your arms and back in one line. Tailbone active. Legs straight. In this pose, we have to be careful. So you don't steady your shoulders. Try to keep your shoulder blades open. Then drop your knees down as you breathe out. Toes out. Sit to heels. Come up, knees together, feet together. Take your toes inside. Now breathing out, go forward, careful with shoulders. Hold your breath outside. Chest between both hands down, chin down. Tailbone up, elbows close to the rib cage. Toes out, go forward. Now, you have possibility, you stay like this. Push your palms in, use your back or take your forearms down. Chest up, that will support your back. Also, you're practicing back bend. Or if you are capable, then you push palms both sides of the ribcage, you come up. Arms half bend. Slowly, slowly take your chest down, head down, take your toes in, breathe in. Come up, knees to heels, then straight legs, heels down. Or this pose, take toes in, you could come straight up. According to your arm strength, he's down, raise your right leg up, bend your right leg, breathe out, right foot forward, left foot down. We bring the same leg front, the which one we took it before backward. Chest up, knee in line with the toes, experience your breath, face muscles soft. Please remember your breath, your back heel active as well. Now breathe in. Push palms in, supporting your back, both feet forward. Take your head to bow your knees. Knees soft, breathing in, roll your back. Taking your hands up above your head. Knees soft, arch back slightly. Breathing out, both hands front of the chest. Drop your chin down. If you suffer from spondylitis or any upper neck problem, try to keep your face muscles front. And breathe in, hands up. One more time. Breathing out, you go forward. Both hands, both side feet, take your head to knees. Bend your both legs, take your left leg back, left knee down. Fingertips in, chest up, chin up. Palms in, breathing in, taking both legs back, heels, feet a couple of inches apart, six to nine inches, tailbone active. Experience your breath, remember your breath, teeth together, jaws open, mouth closed, breathe in and out through your nose, keep your belly relaxed, drop your knees down, toes out, take your seat to heels, 
keeping your elbows and forearms off the ground, allow your armpit to open, so you're aiming your seat towards the heels, but don't move your palms. Breathing in, we come up, knees together, feet together, toes in. Retain your breath out, breathe out, chest down, chin down, elbows close to the ribcage. Toes out, breathing in, go forward, cobra push. Up, straight up, or as I described before, forearms down. Both hands, both side of the your arms half bent. Whatever suits you. Slowly, slowly go down, head down, toes inside. Breathe in, come up, or you can straight your whole body, or take seat to heels, then you straight your legs. Dog portion. Breathing in, raising your left leg up, bend the left leg, left foot forward, right knee down, opening both thighs, chest up. Breathing out, both feet front, take your head to your knees. Breathing in, roll your back, come up, hands up. Breathing out, both hands front of the chest. Breathing in, both hands up, hands down. Relax. It was our, our sun salutation, Surya Namaskar, salute to sun. The, was the level one or beginners. Now, I will show you some posture which will relax you. After practicing this one, you sit down. Then you stretch your legs front, forward. What you do, take your hands, take the flesh out from the seat, so minimize is the space between ground and back. Keep your back up knees on the floor, Keep your toes pointing to the ceiling, so heels active. Raise both hands up. Very gently. You lengthen your spine, you go forward, hold your feet. Take your head down. If you find difficult reaching to your toes, in that case, you open the legs a little bit, very gently. Reason, our, what we call in a modern language, is the love handles or uh, your lower back, just above your waist, that holds quite a lot of tension. And by twisting sideways or warming up those lower back area, that allows you to go a bit more further. We're taking our hands up, then take your hands down, side to side. Take your hand behind the back, you go f this way, to right side first, then aim aiming your head towards your knee, breathing out, then breathing in, Center, five times from each side, breathing out. So that posture warms up your lower back. Take your hand behind the back, go forward. Breathing in, center, breathing out, reverse. Then breathing in, center, breathing out, reverse. While we practice, we try to aim our lower hip joint, our left hip joint on the ground, keeping this hip joint on the floor. The breathing in, we come up, then we go reverse. This time we will keep other hip joint on the floor. Right hip joint on the floor, go over the left side. Breathe in, center, two, one more to go. Breathing out, going down, then center. Relax. Then, or if you like, you touch your hands up. Very gently, then you take your hands down. What you can do, like a child, as you're breathing out, you go very gently forward, be careful. Back of your hamstrings, straight on the floor. Just go forward, breathe in, you come up. So what you do, you just go forward, roll yourself forward as you breathe in, you breathe out, you come up. Just do it a couple of times. Breathe in, breathe out. Then relax. Bring your feet together. Now we will see. It might even have helped me to go forward. You can try. Legs straight. Take the flesh off seat. Sit down or buttock bones. Even you roll your thigh muscles. That supports your back of your knees. That gives very decent stretch to your hamstrings. As well as releases the tense from the lower abdominal muscles. This gives massage to our abdominal muscles. Then you go forward. Hold the feet, please do not practice with full stomach this exercise. 
Relax your holding your feet. Relax your head. Just go deep as you can, in your own space, in your own time. But keep holding your feet. Take your elbows. Your elbow supports your upper back. Hamstrings, lengthen your spine forward, releasing abdominal muscles, support your lower back. So you can have nice stretch. Take your forehead to knees. Or if you can, you can stay here, but keep looking front. If you can't reach, you aim to reaching forward to your toes. To reach toes, if you lock your middle back, this part, no. We have to use our hip joints, so lengthening forward from the lower back. And especially forward bend, we should not strain ourselves, we take it easy as possible. In your own space, in your own time, please do not ask anybody to push you forward on your back. So just make it very sure that you do it in your own space, in your own effort. Try to relax mentally and physically. Slowly, slowly. Roll in the back, you come up. Then rotate your ankles. Three times clockwise, three times anti-clockwise. Then relax. Then bend your both legs, both feet apart. Take your right hand behind your back, left hand behind your back. Now, if you have strengthened shoulders, if you have any problem with the wrist, so be careful, please. You don't have to practice this one, or if you have, you can try. You can keep your fingers outward. It's for the very, very gentle people. Then you can take fingertips inward if you have a bit more strength. Feet a couple of inches apart. Just show you the front position where the, our feet are. Feet bottom width apart. Hands behind the back. Fingertips forward so you get to see the lateral posture. Then breathing in, lifting the seat. Then push palms in. Take your body weight forward on your feet. Push seat inside. Relax your neck. If you have a neck problem, just keep looking front, but don't tense your neck muscles, please. Slowly, slowly, take a seat down. And other one you can try, take your fingertips outward. Breathing in, chest out. Slowly, slowly, relax. Hands down, legs straight. Relax your shoulders. Now. Bend your right leg, right thigh, close to chest, right foot, outside your left knee. I show you the front posture. Right leg, bent. Your right foot, outside your left knee. Take your left elbow, front of your right knee. Right palm up. This is the front position. I will show it from sideways. Up. You stretch yourself from right palm behind your seat or behind the left seat. Just to look back. Keep your shoulders relaxed. You can close your eyes. This posture is very nice posture. You will find so much joy. You can close your eyes. Hold this posture like 30 to 40 seconds. Breathing in, center. The right thigh close to chest, right leg straight. Bend the left leg, left thigh close to chest. Left foot outside of your right knee. Right elbow, front of left knee. Touch your left arm up, left rib cage up. But watch out, this leg is straight. Toes point to the ceiling. Left arm behind the left seat. Look over. Shoulder. Behind the left seat or behind the back or behind the right seat. As you feel comfortable, but your aim to keeping your spine up and twisting. Breathe in, center. Left thigh, close to chest. The left leg straight. Now if you wish, you can lie down for five 
to 10 minutes and you relax. Just relax yourself 10 minutes or 5 minutes if you have time. After the practicing, please try to lie down on your back like flat in Savasana. In this posture, your feet a couple of inches apart, palm facing to ceiling. If you need it, you can place the pillow underneath your head to support your neck muscles. Then just lose your muscles, lose your breath, experience the belly up and down with the breath. Keep your mouth closed. Very simple way. Please, when we come back, uh, so well, how we come back? Feet together, bend your legs, roll your body to side, support your hand, and you come up to minimize the jerk on the lower back. Okay? Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the practice. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Om Santi. Thank you.